J Max, so welcome back to my channel. This is J Max Reacts, and today I'm watching a video by Honest that just says Beyonce returns. Let's see what he has to say. With all the isolation and injustice over the past year, I think we are all ready to escape, travel, love, and laugh again. Beyonce told Harper's Bazaar in 2021. I feel a renaissance emerging, and I want to be a part of nurturing that escape in any way possible. Beyonce has made her long awaited return to music. This time around joining the dance music craze has been happening for the past few years. Beyonce's choice of dance music on her new single titled Break My Soul is house music. In fact, it apparently even samples the Robin S. house staple, Show Me Love. And that is a big song to sample because it is pure house perfection. But I don't <laughs> think they really sound all that similar, although they have a similar styling. Beyonce remains faithful to a traditional sonic style that adds her own spin, including the Big Frida sample, which is kind of like the affirmation of the song to just be free, with lyrics like release your anger, release your mind, release your job, release the time. So the song kind of acts as a combination of house and bounce music. Now Beyonce does explore these topics herself, basically talking about how she quit her job and mentions of a nine to five which is a bit off-putting coming from Beyonce, but I understand she's going for an escapist, uplifting dance direction. And I must say, this is one of Beyonce's most radio-driven singles in a while. It sounds like she designed the song to specifically be a huge anthem, and it very much could be. Although it doesn't break new ground, it sounds like a song for the dance floor. I feel like the song really picks up towards the end. Sonically, it gets far more interesting. She does have a bit of an awkward rap, but the instrumental and song overall picks up for me after that part. The vocal layering, the choir, the guitar, and the bouncy piano part. It is nice to see Beyonce join the pop canon again in such a normalized and free way, in a way that also feels very simple. For the past few years, Beyonce has been diving into more emotionally charged and serious topics. Now she is returning with upbeat and pure escapist records. Even though I'm sure this direction is a bit more unexpected for a lot of people, I do think it's also a logical progression for her. Mm -hmm. Beyonce has toyed with many different styles and aesthetics, and this is one of the only ones Beyonce hasn't fully submerged herself into, or really taken on in her career. And it also serves as a perfect sound palette for freeing and liberating themes, mm -hmm. which has historically been tied to the genre. Furthermore, it's pop tradition for veteran divas to turn to dance or house music. Even though I don't believe this is a super strong effort for Beyonce, I do believe it's just okay. I do think house music could be an interesting direction for her to take. After all, Beyonce is one of the most talented pop singers out today, and very few pop singers have the grit to really pull off the more soulful house music. Break My Soul is a bit more restrained, but if anyone could pull off the more vocally demanding, wailing house music then it's probably Beyonce. Exactly. I also will say Beyonce seemed to be very mindful of the traditions of house music and its roots with the inclusion of its significance to queer people. Beyonce is a black woman and with vocal house, black women were the faces and sound of house music. To this day when a pop singer releases a house song, you'd be hard pressed not to find a black choir or black singer's contribution somewhere in the song. It has to do with the relationship gospel music and house music have. It was released during Pride Month and also samples a black gay man. Overall, I would say the song is fine. It's not really exploring new territory, it's just a throwback of 90s house. I wouldn't rank this in Beyonce's best singles or even best songs, but I am excited to see what more she has to offer for this genre and style. <laughs> Shout out to Honest, the um, kind of thing he produces is always pretty interesting. Either will make you mad or <laughs> make you think about some things or somewhere in between. Um, this was a good one. I, I, I said in, I think, um, a recent Beyonce video I did that I like Break My Soul. I think it's a great um, transition and something different for her. I think it is um, incredibly substantive. It has a message to it. It's anthemic. It's themeful for the month, the time, and where we are in the world right now. It's definitely a happy song. Um, which we need, you know what I mean? When I think about what she said in the interview, 
you know, in a renaissance emerging, yeah, we're seeing a lot of craziness in the world right now. And you just need something to take your mind off of it, not take you away from it or keep you desensitized to it, but something to kind of say, you know what, for the next two, three hours, for the next day, for the next however much time, I'm going to actually choose to do things that make me happy. I'm going to decompress, I'm going to listen to music, I'm going to dance, I'm going to release everything that I'm feeling. I'll go back to it and pick it up when I'm in a better headspace to do what I need to do with it. And then from there, we'll be fine. But at this moment, this is what I'm going to choose to do is I think Drake did the same thing. Um, and there are so many other people that are doing electronic dance music in house. And I think, you know, we got to get out of the, the, the sayings of people are jumping on the trends and bandwagons or not. I think they're just emerging and taking over, which is a beautiful thing to see. That's something I saw Darn tweet, um, last week is something that people have been, um, saying about like Tinashe and then other people that do house music and have been doing house music. It's just incredible to see it. Um, yeah, but I think it's a great single. I think she's going to kill with Renaissance. I'm not a stan. I'm not a Beehive member, but I really do fuck with Beyonce heavily. <laughs> I love her music. I love that we get to see her evolve and do different things with each project. I think that's incredible to see. She's one of the, she's one of the main people that can do that, and people don't call her boring and consistent or they don't do this negative thing that they do with other people that try new things and that's you know it, if you can do it with one <laughs> maybe we have hope for other people who want to experience um experiment with genres later on but there's still people that trash it as well and y'all need to go sit the fuck down it's just not that serious um <laughs> but yes i think this was a good video shout out to honest let me know what you thought about it below tell me what you thought um what you're thinking about the new single what do you think the new album's gonna sound like What's your favorite Beyonce single album? You know, all that good stuff in the comments. Um, otherwise, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.